Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. It's your ghost captain. I got the game paused because, you know, then it would just run and run and run, and all my resources would disappear. <laughs> That's how this game is. Once you hit play, it never stops. Maintenance and f is always on you. And that means you always have fuel consuming. So this game is a constant draw. You know, it just completely drains you. Aha! Uh -huh. But it makes it kind of fun, too, because you're always, uh, you know, moving. I paused it when it was raining. It's pretty cool. Speaking of pausing and rain, look at this. This is going to be the farm setup here. And what I'm going to have is ramps in between each farm and then there's going to be a ramp uh it kind of depends on it really it's going to be in front of like, like these markets here uh and first thing we're going to do here actually is we're going to go to the housing and i'm going to plop down some housing now it used to be there was a bug i, I hope they fixed it oh we need electricity okay we can do that eventually uh, it used to be that if you plop down a ghost image of, it's one of my cousins, you know, the ghosts in the game. <laughs> uh, if you plop down a habitat or settlement in this case, and, and it was ghosted, it would still consume resources even though you didn't have the population in there yet. I think they fixed that in a, it was, it's going way back. And I, I hope they fixed it because I, I haven't really looked at, you know, so, you know, there's so many patch notes that go out, you know, between the time I played last, you know. So, we're going to toss that down. And over here, I let the labs upgrade. And we're going to work on, you know, our little tasks here. We're getting, I think we're getting close to being done. Okay, so now we're going to go. Oh, this is really nice. Watch this. Boom! So... It used to be you couldn't do this in the game where you had two things facing each other with inputs. It wouldn't make that connection. You'd have to make the connection to two, then plop the next two down and hope that they connected. I can't remember if they even connected, but you could get I mean, pipes do this too now. So it was really nice to get this little feature here. Oh, and then the trucks, what they do is they hand delivered 40 lab instrument level ones to each lab. So we have, uh, you know, was it uh, 180 uh, or 180? It's 80, 160, 160. And then this thing has 24, 64 in there. All right. So now what they want us to do here is research power two. And this is the big daddy right here. Boom. This is where power gets kind of fun. We get a boiler, high pressure turbine, and a power generator. Now, this isn't the creme de la creme yet. Uh, we need to research this right here. And this gives us the flywheel. Boom. Now, we'll set this up. And I'm not going to go into a big explanation with it, but um, this thing gives you... Uh, uh, does it tell you? Oh, it doesn't tell you from the tool tip here. Oh, here it is, 2.4 megawatts. Three megawatts of mechanical power converts into 2.4 megawatts of electrical power. And you have to go, you have to have water, coal, it does steam high. Oh, and then after this, well, the turbine is helpful, but we have to vent the low steam. So we'll get into all that, you know, later on. So let's go ahead and unpause. Uh-oh, power. Let's pause. <laughs> Hi there. You need some uh, power, don't you? Well, look at here. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Our oral is way over here. Our diesel. And what we can do now is... See, that's going there. All right, let's go to our power. Diesel generator. And I think we'll go up a little bit here to clear. Let's see how that works. And uh, now you got to be careful on these pipes. Because sometimes they'll be connected the incorrect way. 
So we need, oh gosh, um, well, let's get a couple of these copy. We'll copy that shift, click them down so we have it in our hand. Okay, and then we can go um, here and here. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. It actually, it put the pipe in correctly, which is good. So let's go ahead and unpause all that. And these take just the white components and electrical parts, electrical ones. Okay, now let's go over here, zoop, and we're gonna pause these. Oops, wrong way. And we'll go ahead and pause that. The game here. Now, we have to find an oil rig, so let's get started on that. Oh my God, we got a lot of stuff in there. So that means we're gonna have to go out and explore so we just you know rant you know go wherever and we've already went out a couple times there goes our boat Woo! and it's gonna disappear Boop. <laughs> pretty cool okay we're working on that now so yeah i want to knock out these uh tutorials and then uh the plan is to stream this like i said but i wanted to get through the tutorials first get things set up and you know make a nice startup series to this oh let's unpause this too yeah because i we need three to this is uh 54 oil and these are 18 so you need three of them i think it was at th uh, 38 uh 46 54 whoa okay that scared me <laughs> I hope we can go here. So we're blocked off here. Can't go anywhere. We Well, hopefully we'll find that oil rig. Okay. Yeah, so in order to run this thing, you need... It's a three to one. And then these power... This is 960 kilowatts. So it'll be... Uh, what is that? Um, almost a megawatt. Okay. That's not bad. On the move. Oh, is it coming back home? Gosh darn it. I wish it didn't do that. It's out of gas, so you can see that uh, over here, fuel in the reserve, 546 kilometers. I don't know why it's coming home. I'm, I think I'll have to check that out. Uh, let's see here. This island is so weird. Keep empty. Ship designer. Oh my gosh, we have a designer ship. Okay, let's see here. Automatically you turn home. Yeah, turn that off. Okay. Oh, did we take on any damage? Eh, a little bit, but that's fine. I think we can handle it. So let's go ahead and explore here now. And hopefully we can find that oil rig and get going on that. Now, oh, I'm trying to bleed out these potatoes, and I'm going to put a habitat here. And I think I have to build it in order to have it connected to in order for that food to be available to the settlement. One thing about food, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you want to do all of the foods and it's pretty tough because you're gonna have you're gonna have a couple farms. If you're playing on more difficult settings, you're gonna have a lot of farms. You're gonna have to really boost them. You have to you really do everything. Um, you have to do fertilizer to it. You have to do everything because food is the toughest uh, to do in the in the tougher settings uh, on easier settings though it, it'll be much easier much better I mean so you, you'll be able to experience what you need to do to get each one up and running then it gets tougher and you have to have more farms more space it's crazy but these what happens is you we have two categories satisfied so we have one from each category that's a little misleading what that whoa what's this uh, okay. Oh, wrong thing. Location. Oh, okay, good. They get some stuff. Now, notice how it didn't come home right away. So, sometimes you can explore an additional area. So, we have to send that home now. Okay. So, let's get back to this thing here. So, if we do pr protein and treats, then we get, you know, bonuses to our health, which is here. This is the health. And notice how food, we got a plus eight here. And that's reflectant um, right here. So the more the more categories, the higher health boost you get. 
And I think the treats are kind of a part of the uh, mental health because <laughs> this isn't healthy. You know, it's just mental health, I guess, creature comforts. Uh, but if you do all of these foods, you get a nice little bonus. And if you mount, uh, yeah, here, right here. Um, let's see. I think it's, so if you look at this, it's 0 0.18, 0 0.18. And then this is 0.24. That's unity. So if you supply all these foods, you get extra unity. And it's a, there's a multiplier to it. So you definitely want that because your unity is really important here. And, oh, another thing that I found out. I did some testing. Landfill pollution. It doesn't matter if you dump it in the ocean or on your island. It doesn't matter where it is. It will pollute. Now look at our foods going down because uh, potatoes are out. So... You have to, let's pause this thing. You have to incinerate your trash. Eventually we'll get incinerators. And there's a whole big system we have to set up in order to minimize the pollution for that, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, knock that out. We'll let the guys, oh, here's our boat. Let's go ahead and run out. Oh, are they bringing fuel? Yeah, okay. Um, there they come. Okay, there we go. Let's pause that while I fiddle with the stuff here. We do have a housing too. Now, I want to get a market, and we're going to plop it right there. And then these are potatoes, and they can hand deliver the potatoes, right? So let's un oh, unpause that, and we'll get that going. Oh, this is, is this off? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to put a ramp. And let's go copy this. And the way I'm doing this is, let's go on this side here. I'm overlapping by one tile, like so. And because you can't, uh, sometimes you can't just go, you have to go around those ports sometimes, even if you're not using it. So you might as well just wrap, instead of being super close to the farm, you know, you just do it that way. Uh, a lot easier uh, to just do it this way. And then I think I'm going like this. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm overlapping. Wait a minute. Oh, what happened here? That's here. Make sure I'm not moving. There we go. Yeah, overlap like that. Let's unpause this one and that one. Spuds right on in. Oh! It didn't. Oh, I gotta move it over just one more. Crap. Wouldn't you know it? And then these things are kind of a pain. Um, let's see. If you copy, you, you, it locks you. It doesn't, you can't you know, adjust this however you want, but that's okay. We'll just go like this. Yeah, this is how we'll have to do it. Um, come on, game. Go there. Like that. And I'm going to do a quick deliver on that. It takes our unity from our unity pool, 49.2. That way we can get these potatoes in here. Oh, this is uh, potatoes. There we go. Glad I saw that. And notice our, our we're 47 months, so uh, we're pretty good. So that's the kind of the standard I'm looking at is, you know, ramp, ramp, four ramps, you know, two in between the farms. So ramp, ramp, and then the ramp over the belt because you're going to have a lot of belts going through here. And it all depends on where we can put our... Uh, markets now we can upgrade these later to handle two items and that's why you want to do the ramps because then you can easily belt around you know you've got buffer space here and back here so it works out pretty good let's go ahead and uh build this sucker here unpause that and i'm gonna leave this for later okay now let's go ahead and unpause these and we should have enough power. We go summary. Yeah, here's our 
max capacity and we're down here so we'll we'll see how that goes oh and then our unity took a hit okay now let's see we can we do electricity the if you look at this uh housing thing here it is right here um oh we don't have it okay so we don't have the transformer and we can go into our research here and there is a transformer for this settlement uh oh oh this is really a good one here 10 percent deconstruction efficiency we want that definitely want that and we need remove from q oh we're oh we're researching that one okay wait a minute now power generation oh okay it looked like a, oh these are red for some reason Oh, we need to search. We need to find the technology out there. And we need to find the oil rig as well. And then we can start moving along. Okay, where is that settlement power? Here it is right here. So we have to go through this whole chain of stuff in order to get the settlement. Oh, no, that's a large generator. Uh, let's do a search. This is new. Uh, S-E-T. So we got one of eight matches here and that's the water so this is so nice man here it is settlement power oh okay we'll add it to the queue it's right after this one here all right cool good now where is our boat oh there it is okay we're back let's go ahead and explore you know i'm gonna hit this one we might be able to do two i doubt it though i doubt it okay now these things are working along Oh, and, and they're going to crank through pretty quick. Now, we're going to use unit, lose Unity because we have more labs than we can that we have Unity. But that's fine. Dismiss. Cool, we got that now. Ah, okay, now build a boiler and connect to... Oh, we got to... Oh, I got to do uh, this. There we go. Now I can see. So they want us to do the power. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Okay, they want us to do the power already. And the problem is that we've got all this crap in the way here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Let's turn our layers on, L. And where shall I put you? Oh, God. Oh, here's water here. I think maybe... Ugh. There is all this uh, uneven ground over here. We have a little bit of water source here that we can tap into. So let's go ahead and here's our new stuff here. Okay, come in. Let's get our uh, groundwater pump. And we'll flip it that way like so. And we'll turn it on. Now, you got to be careful. Your population is, our worker population is 45 right now. And how is the, let's turn the layers off here. We do have that, this done now. And we're at 280 of 350. We should have natural population growth, though. So we should be fine. Oh, get out of there. Location explored. Okay, now we can't go there. Darn it. Okay, now we'll just come home. I really want to get that uh, uh, that oil rig because that's uh, going to be you know pretty big for later on because your oil runs out. All right, so let's get back to this. Our water pump's in. So let's see here. Hmm. Um, I might have to just put it here, and I'll pipe the water here because this is the only open spot I have. Oh, you know what I forgot I was going to do? I forgot I was going to do this. We'll copy that. Oh, okay, there we go. Mechanical power and storage. There we go, perfect. And let's go right here now this is going to copy the settings see notice how it's going over to this tower so just right click and remove that on these and then we click on the tower click on the export route and we just go plunk plunk and these are already set for for rock and for dirt and we have our thing set up you know our our dumping directive there 
And now we have the flywheel. Cool. We'll get into that in a second. All right. Let's go with storage. And we got the loose. And we'll plop that down there. This is going to be coal right there. And we're going to click on our tower. We're going to have an export rule there. And now we'll unpause these things here. Zoop. And what this will do is it will keep our trucks from running around for the mining operation. Just like over here. And then I'll have to do a copper one as well. But um, where are... Oh, copper's here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's copy... I forgot I was going to do this off screen, but... I just forgot. Okay, let's go over here. And I suppose I could do... Go right in line here, yeah. We'll go back here, give ourselves some room. All right, and then uh, what's this? Oh, okay, click on that. When I move the farm, it put that checkbox on. Okay, so we have plenty of veggies and our potatoes are filling up. Oh, look at our very, very busy truck fleet there. Uh, we have 43 workers. Okay, and that one, what? that story yeah, I know okay good ah okay we got those things are done trucks are very busy here and it could be because they were filling this up with fuel okay let's go and explore oh hold on a minute uh, waiting on diesel and it's a long drive <laughs> okay we're doing fine yeah we're doing fine okay and it should be in there now. Oh, I'm gonna sneak this over a little more. And 93, yeah, we could do it. Yeah, let's go ahead. It, there's not gonna be that much of a difference there. Okay, so what's going on? We've got this now. Oh, that's all full, okay, good. So notice how the trucks are just going back and forth and then they wait at the tower now. Instead of driving over to fill up this thing right here. Uh, and I forgot that I can. Oh, this is going to be copper now. Uh, copper ore is green. There we go. And then we're just going to belt this directly on in. And then we'll unpause that. Unpause that. Oh, and then we have to remove the tower. Forget about that. Remove, remove, and then we'll go export. Boom, boom, boom. I love that it keeps it in your hand. It threw me off for a minute there. For uh, when I first started playing the game, I was like, whoa, it stays in your hand? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I like it. So you could go thunk, 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 thunk. Uh, that's really good. Okay, our copper is moving along. Oh, you know what? Let's get these things in here. The, the cursor lags. I don't know why. If it's a design thing. Okay, there we go. That'll save some truck traffic there. Oh, boy. Oh, look. Oil rig. Wait. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait. We found an oil rig? This might be it. Um... Wait a minute. Ship orders. It says we found an oil rig. Oh, that's weird. Man, those trucks. They're busy. I have to add more trucks, I guess, here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then um, let's send our uh, thing home. It's saying we found an oil rig. I wonder if that's the, um, if that's the reason there. So in order to defeat the pirates, we'll need to get the ship with gun mounted with guns and stuff in armor. And that is something we'll have to research there. Okay, we're at 280 to 350. Um, we're doing pretty good on food. Now, the thing is, there's food stuck in the farm. So that means we, we could still handle a lot more. Now, I could put another one of these things down, but... That's not going to do me any good. Oh. 
think I'll leave this here for now until the research is done. Now, let's see here. Did we take any damage? Okay, there it is. Yeah, 95. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Now, what's weird is it? it's almost like we found the oil rig. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, deconstruction efficiency is very important if you're playing on very tough modes because it reduces the cost of pulling something up and you get uh, more of your materials back. You're never going to be 100% ever in the game, though. There we go. Now we're stable. Okay, so we got that going and we're working on that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this just having one here now i'm going to change this to coal and we're going to do a we're going to do a keep full on this because the trucks won't bring anything to it and then we're going to be trucks will not be allowed to pick up cargo here because we don't want it don't want them stealing from our copper okay and that'll save some truck traffic there uh, so trucks will deliver here you know 20 units as at current and then uh we have here yeah see trucks will not be allowed to pick up from there okay we're good on that one all right now let's get back to the power here and okay so let's go ahead what do we got here oh maintenance depot two that's the basic um this one's better but it, no it's it's 250 kilowatts and we're you know, we're doing fine on maintenance. We're not hurting. Oh, our our unity is kind of taking a hit here. So, oh, what happened here? Oh, you know what? They're not delivering here. Gosh darn it. So let's go ahead and pause one of those. Because the unity. Uh, let's go ahead and pause two. 0 0.88, 0 0.08. Yeah, because our unity is at 37.4 and uh, it's dropping. So I want... What's going on here? Water pollution minus three. Um, two research labs. Okay, there we go. Now we're plus 0 0.7, 0 0.17. So that'll do. All right, we're having trouble with electronics parts, which we don't have very fast stuff here. Yeah. Uh, I think that what's happening is this right here. The construction parts are stealing our, our electronics components. So because the i'm not gonna be doing all this building going crazy all the time i'm not gonna worry about it too much but let's take a look this is uh four parts every 60 seconds and we need uh 12. <laughs> i think we could stand to add another one and then we'll belt this up i don't want to do the electrics just yet so let's go ahead and um build that and i'm gonna put a case down unit storage and we'll go up here and then uh, press T for transports flat connector go there go there unpause 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 this once a part will go it goes in the case it'll automatically um, set the filter for you so that's kind of nice and then I might do the mechanicals too. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll copy that one. And we'll just kind of, that way we have them for building on hand and it'll always run, whoops. So we fill the case and you know, it's not like Factorio where you can limit cases and stuff. It's just, it fills it up and you're done. Uh, the case, I, there's a lot I'd like to see um, going forward in the game with storage and the capability to kind of ch uh, control it a little more uh, you know just basically like i don't want maybe i don't want a full case of something maybe i want a half case you can't control it it's just here you go so that's how that um works in the game and of course that's going to take oh we have plenty of construction parts here so yeah this is stealing our electronics components so that's the, the issue there Okay, come on. What's taking you so long to, to deliver? Oh, I know why. This right here. So, 
in order to build those cases, I'm going to pause that. And, and this will, in a sense, help us too, because then with this, um, this won't be stealing our electronics components as much. And we have plenty of, uh, we have a 180 of them, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, all right, let's get back to the power system over here. And let's go ahead. I'm going to spin around. Yeah, let's see how this works. All right, power. So what we need is a high-pressure turbine. And we have high steam in. So let's just kind of rough this in, and I'll move it when we're ready. And now that we have the flywheel available, we can connect a flywheel. Well, here, better yet, let's do this. Uh, we'll cut that. Now, let's take a look at this. So you got six megawatts and of mechanical power. This is three. So we can do two of these. So the mechanical power is six. And each of these generators is three. It generates, though, for a total of 4.8 megawatts. Now, the flywheel allows us to, it spins up, so it has a spin up, and it'll store electrical power as inertia. And so it stores a mechanical power. And then the turbine doesn't have to work as hard. And later on, we'll get a low pressure steam and all this other stuff. It'll be kind of cool. Okay, now we can't, we don't have an answer for the steam low yet. So we're going to go ahead. We have to vent it, unfortunately, but you know, we need the tech for it. We will get it eventually. So we need to, um, oh, and that, check it out. It's way up in the air now. It used to pee on the ground, but now we have to pipe that down. So let's go ahead and build this stuff here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. I, want, I was going to... I might move it. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a minute. So now we got to go to our water extraction, and its uh, boiler is underneath that. And uh, now notice the, the port is up high, but the boiler is down low, so you have to give it yourself a little room. Okay, and then we... We have some pollution here. Uh, okay, there we go. Cool. Oh, and let's go explore. Oh, we have uh, a couple of those. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go here, I guess. Check that out. Okay, now I'm going to copy you. And we'll plop that on right there. Okay, so... We need coal and, and water. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this coal. Oh, wait, not cut. Uh, copy. There we go. And I'm going to um, pop it right here. Oh, cool, this storm. Now, notice how it is linked to the tower. So I copied the... So we're going to have our, our coal trucks handle our power, our fuel for our power as well. So that'll work out nice. Okay, now we need the water. So let's see where, now uh, do this. <laughs> Always copy because if you cut, it's not like Factorio where it stays, it keeps your cuts and copies and buffers and stuff. So you're gonna be in for a world of hurt. Uh, let's see if we can fit it in here. Uh, there's a tree there. Oh, cool, I got it. Right there. Nice. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, if you hit shift, oh, there's a tree in the way. Okay, never mind. Uh, it's got to go around these trees here. That's fine. We'll, we'll spaghetti this up. We have to go over here. Oh, we got a battle again. Crap. Back. So at least we know where the pirates are. <laughs> so if we click here, we can just go home direct, you know. And so I think we did... 
We did discover the oil, but we have to battle those pirates because we don't know it's there yet. Oh, research advanced diesel. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we got settlement power. Uh, advanced diesel. Let's just go E, D, V. And there it is right there. Um, oh, it's locked. Wait a minute. Oh, we have to... Oh, we do... St oh, we still have to... Oh, okay, we didn't discover it. Okay. All right, let's unpause this whole thing. Boom. And now we can drag over this and, and just get rid of it. So that you, if you screwed up, you know, like I said, you don't want to cut unless you really are, you know, just moving it, you know, because sometimes I'll cut something and I'll forget and I go, oh, no, I'm not playing Factorio. <laughs> And I'll forget, and I'll have a whole build. It happened to me one time. I had a whole build, and I, I, I was like, no, I had to do the whole thing over, and I had it all ghosted and everything. I was so, I was so upset. Well, not really, but you know, it's fun to build in this game. It is really fun. Very busy. Okay, we got 152 in there. Uh, what is the holdup? Oh, okay, they pulled some parts for the. Um, the building okay now what do we got oh here's our trash pile <laughs> oh dear okay now they're gonna start oh yeah look they're delivering there already cool cool there we go oh and then we want to do a keep full and we trucks will not be allowed to pick up this one, we do want trucks to drop off and pick up. This is the general coal for the whole settlement. You know, all the stuff we're building. So we, we do want that both on. for Because you know, there might, uh, a truck might have a little bit of coal it can't deliver. It, it might be able to drop it back off, you know. So you, you do want that. Hey, look at that. High pressure, attached power, generate one or two, and connect steam high. Um... Wait a minute. Oh, I need to build. Yeah, two. Ah, there we go. Settlement power. Very cool. There it is. And it is done. 40 yellow construction components. And now, oh, see, look at all this stuff we have to do here. Produce diesel by converting medium oil, light oil, heavy oil, sour oil. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So now look at our power now. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, now. The wonderful thing about this diesel, which I'm going to get rid of this one now. Oh, threw it in there. Uh, I'm going to uh, de de demolish this one. And we should get the diesel out of it. Let's see what happens. It looks like it put the construction components in there. I don't know where the diesel went. Maybe it went in the truck here. I don't know. There's only a little bit left in there. So now we have uh, construction components in there. And the reason it, it's in the dock is because this is full. Otherwise, it would take it out and put it in here. I ha I'll be implementing a strategy that I have for storage. I'll show you that later on. Uh, but for now, we're just going to deal with uh, having it in the dock there. Okay, so that is done. Now, let's see here. I want to beef up my boat. What's locking us here? Gun... Oh, we need the advanced diesel in order to research this weaponry. Okay, so let's go ahead and, man, what is going on with this? Let's go here, I guess. It's a little closer. And our ship is at 95%. So we took a little bit of a hit, but that's fine. Okay, and we are at 280. So I'm going to turn on the beacon. Uh, maybe not. Hold on. It's got to take our unity down yet to the level I don't want to be at. Okay, no research. Well, let's get some, let's get pipes too out of the way. Uh, Biodiesel, basic desalination, uh, burner. There we go. So pipes two has a throughput of 200. Right now we're at 60. And uh, they are more expensive, obviously. And then we got a large smokestack out of that. 
And let's see. Biofuel. Oh, I didn't research that one yet. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, that was quick. Okay. No research. Pipes too. Wait a minute. What? Oh, location. Oh, cargo ship technology. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Can we go here? Yes. So this is where we can go to two locations at once. Nice. Okay. Um, 0.57. This takes point, a quarter point of unity. So let's go ahead and pop that one off. Research. Now, what, what happened here? Start. There we go. So pipes two. Yeah, 200 um, throughput on that. I'm not going to worry. Well, ooh, let's see. Cargo depot. Yeah, let's do this one. So this unlocks a two bay cargo depot. You can upgrade to a four later. Then there's a six and an eight, but you can't upgrade the four to an eight to a six. You have to rip it and replace it. Kind of sucks. What we got here? Wheat seeds. Cool. Okay, now we won't be able to explore that because we're out of diesel fuel. Uh, we have a location. We got what? One, two, three, four, five locations to explore here. Still yet. And we should be able to get through some of this research. So let's go back in here while that boat comes home. Okay. Uh, oh, basic desalination. You could take the seawater with, in this case, coal in a basic distiller. Later on, we'll get better stuff, but uh, coal is your catalyst. You know, you cook in the seawater and you're cooking the, the salt component out of the seawater and you're left with fresh water. And you get an exhaust component there. You can take the brine. You can throw it back into the ocean. So you get... This is the way you get water. Um, there's a, a way you can get water via cargo ship as well. Which I prefer. And then the burner. We're going to... I don't really use the burners. Uh, I There are better ways to deal with, with the exhaust. Um, let's see here. We'll get vehicle management out of the way. We'll get edicts out of the way. We'll go over these later. And now, oh, we have the wheat seed. So let's go ahead and pop that off. Very cool. And we're negative 0.6. So yeah, we're fine on that. Okay. And I think that now we have uh, the settlement transformer now. And this is just an item that you plop down. It's 269 kilowatts. And it's 40 construction components. What this is going to do it's going to give us more unity now because our quality of life is going up in the settlement. And that, you know, obviously that's all good for that. You know, we want that. And there we go. Uh, so we should start. Yeah. So 1.44 unity. And it takes a little while, I noticed, for this to update. There's a, a big lag for some reason. I don't know why. But it should pop pretty soon. Oh, now it's not yellow. There we go. So we got 1.36 unity now, and that means we can turn this lab on and we can rip through some research quicker. Okay, cool. Ah, our boat's back. So let's go out to here because I want to see if I can get that oil rig in this uh, session here. Okay, now uh, research advanced diesel. Yeah, so we're, our tutorial is kind of in, uh, in limbo right now until we can find that. And we, can, we cannot upgrade the boat obviously until we get that so i will break in and let you know if we find it there it is we found it oil drilling technology so our ship has discovered an oil rig we get these parts and then we get this cool stuff here there it is all right now <laughs> this is so much fun we want to st now it's blue and it says we need to load the required materials onto our ship and request it to deliver all the materials to this location. We need to repair it. So we click on repair and they've really done a great job uh, with the, the GUI, you know, the graphical interface for this particular thing. On, also, I forgot to mention on the cargo ship, we can start repairs on that as well. We need 240 iron plate to repair this cargo ship. And then up here, see how it says zero of two? When we repair it, it'll become one of two. Now, apparently, I think they give us one 
to start with. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, now. Oh, and we're going to send. I don't think we can go. Oh, we can. We'll explore this too. Okay. Now, be careful on exploration early in the game. Because you will. Your crew brings back illnesses. And it'll knock your colony down, you know, in population. So you got to be careful. Now, notice this is what they added a while back. Um, we can start the repairs on the oil rig. And we can also start the repairs on the on the cargo ship at the same time. But I don't want to do it, you know, right now because it's a, you know, we're taxing our production, you know, early on. And notice that we have 20 parts here already, now 40. So it's loading the cargo. Ah, and what's this now? Okay, cool. Oh, corn seeds. Nice. Wow, that was a good find. Okay, now we need to come home. And then what we'll do, let's check on our iron plate here real quick. Uh, we got 180. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and load the cargo. Uh, load the ship. Oh! Oh, you only do one at a time. I didn't know that. Okay, never mind. Well, whatever. I thought you could, you know, at least load it in there. Okay, that's good to know. What's going to happen? Ship's going to come back home. And, oh, and then these are the uh, things we're going through here. Burner, vehicle management, too. Now we have a vehicle cap of 100 vehicles. So it went up by 20. The max is 180 vehicles. Okay, there we go. Now watch this. Book. There's 80 in there. And we need 40 more. So that's going to be cruising along there. And then I think once... Uh, oh, and let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Um, I think we'll have to do this next episode. So we'll... I think this is it. The last of the tutorials. The advanced diesel. And now... Uh, we, where is it? Um, it's over here somewhere. Here it is right here. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll cue, I'll let the research run out and then we'll, next episode, we'll finish up this, uh, the tutorials, I think. Once we research the advanced diesel, then we can do the ship upgrades. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to let this research run out and then maybe we'll hook up a wheat farm or a corn farm. If we do, um, we can do bread. And bread is really good if for our colony. Uh, if we look, wait a minute, uh, look at this here. And it's under carbs. And it's uh, 0.35, which is really good. And that really boosts your health and your uh, uh, unity. So, yeah, we'll have to work on that as well. And I wanted to, if you do wheat first... Then you can, uh, it'll, it'll work better if you do it first, then do corn because you can belt corn all day. It's no big deal. The wheat is the tough one because you have to process it and then, and belt it into your, uh, your markets and stuff. So we might want to do wheat, uh, next right here. And then we, then we can, you know, do our little processing there. Okay. I think we'll end it here. So thanks for watching. We are cruising along got some good power oh and one of the things i did forget to mention yeah i forgot these diesel generators are now backup power now they take two workers so you might you can leave them in but i would say the the best thing to do is just pause them because now we get the workers back in our colony for other things if you get run into a bind and something happens and you're coal power gets screwed up uh you have them there now they do take maintenance 3.1 every 60 seconds so the more maintenance you know it's kind of like you're throwing iron and copper away basically by having these on the ground so but we'll leave these in for now um later on i'll pull them up once we get more stable okay so yeah our colony's coming along pretty good here um you know no no chaos today. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're learning something. You know, if you're, uh, you know, interested in the game and you're just wanting to figure some things out, just starting out. Hopefully I'm helping out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.